Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. For today's video, we will be cooking some dinner together. So for dinner today, I am going to be making some keto chicken fajita spaghetti squash. I have posted a picture of this dinner in the past and a lot of y'all commented asking, what is the recipe, how do you make it? And today we are finally going to be doing a video on it. This is one of my absolute favorite dinners to have. I used to have this all the time at the beginning of my journey. Spaghetti squash is super good and I love to just stuff spaghetti squash and make an awesome meal. So I really hope y'all enjoy this recipe, but let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is cook up the spaghetti squash because this is what's gonna take the longest. So I'm gonna go ahead and roast mine in the oven. Honestly, sometimes I put it in the Instant Pot if I'm like in a super quick rush and it cooks it super fast. But I got some time today, I wanna do it the right way. I just think roasting it gives it so much more flavor. So we gotta cut this in half. Yes, it's a pain in the butt. You could pre like boil it a little bit to cut it in half easier, but I'm just gonna struggle today and we gonna cut it in half. So I go ahead and cut it long ways. Oh, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> Sometimes I guess when they're bigger, they're a little bit harder to cut in half, but honestly, this one is a pretty like smallish, medium size, and it wasn't that hard to cut. And we got a big knife. Look at that. Mus Maybe it's because I'm in the gym. I'm just kidding. We got some muscles now. All right, next you wanna go ahead and clean out all the squash. Now I'm only eating one half today, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and cook up the whole thing just for leftovers or I'll make like another meal with the other half tomorrow. So first you just wanna go ahead and clean out all those seeds from inside. What do y'all do with the seeds? Cause I honestly just toss them, but do y'all do anything with the seeds? Like do people roast them or eat them or do y'all plant them? I don't plant nothing because I'm terrible at that. I can never grow anything, but let me know what y'all like to do with the seeds. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dump these out into a bowl. All right, once you have all your seeds cleaned out, you're gonna go ahead and take a baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper. We're gonna go ahead and put our spaghetti squash on top. To our spaghetti squash, to get it nice and roasted, you're gonna go in with a drizzle of olive oil or some avocado oil, whatever you like to use. Just gonna put a drizzle on each one. Then we're gonna go ahead and season with just some salt and pepper. I mean, if you wanna add any other seasonings to your squash, you can go ahead and do so, but a lot of the flavor is going to come from the stuffing that we're gonna stuff it with. So a little salt and pepper. And then I like to just take one of these brushes and kind of like smear all the olive oil inside with all the seasoning around the edges, just like that. Then you're going to go ahead and flip each squash face down and we're gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven. Okay, so you're gonna have your oven preheated to 450 degrees. It depends how big your squash is um, and it may vary on the time. So I'm gonna pop these in. It might take about 30 to 45 minutes. While our spaghetti squash is roasting, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the fajita inside. So you're gonna take bell peppers, whatever color you like. Honestly, today I'm going in with a red and a green. Then we're just gonna go ahead and thinly slice them. Or I mean, you can honestly dice them as well, but I just like to thinly slice. Just like this, and then go ahead and set them into a bowl to the side. Okay, an onion is optional, but I like to just add a little bit and I go ahead and thinly slice this as well. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and chop up our chicken. So today I am using some boneless chicken thighs. I'm just gonna go ahead and trim off the fat. You can definitely go in with some chicken breast, but I just feel like thighs have so much more flavor in them. But whatever you prefer, go ahead and use. I'm just gonna go ahead and chop them up into bite-sized pieces and then we'll set it to a bow to the side. I kinda just go in with about this size, about bite size. Okay, I have all my chicken cut up in my bow. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the stove top so we can start cooking up all our chicken and bell peppers. Okay, before we move on to cooking our chicken, my spaghetti squash is actually done. It took 35 minutes for my size spaghetti squash, so you'll know it's done when you can put a fork through and it goes all the way through. Do not overcook your spaghetti squash because it will get squishy and nasty and it just will be a hot mess. <laughs> before we do anything else, I'm just gonna go ahead and let it cool off and then we'll like cut it into like little spaghetti strings. Okay, moving on to cooking our chicken fajitas. So we're gonna go in with a little olive oil to our pan or avocado oil, whatever you choose. 
first thing we're gonna cook down is our chicken. Okay, to season, of course, I am going in with some chicken fajita seasoning. Whatever kind of chicken fajita seasoning is your favorite. I also go in with some garlic powder. Then we're just going to go in with some salt and pepper to taste. And I kind of season in layers, so I'll just season this for now, and then in a little bit we'll taste it. And first, we're just going to go ahead and cook our chicken all the way through. Okay, after your chicken is cooked through, you got a nice sear on it. We're going to go ahead and add in our bell peppers. We're going to add in our red bell peppers. Green bell peppers. And our onion. And then you could re-season a little bit if you need to for the bell peppers and onion. So I just add a little bit more of each seasoning. A little pepper. And a little salt to taste. And then you're just going to give this about five more minutes, you guys, just to go ahead and get the bell peppers and onion nice and tender. Then we will add some cream and make it all nice and creamy and delicious. I feel like that's the best part. <laughs> Once your bell peppers are nice and tender, we're going to go ahead and make our cream sauce. So I'm going to go in with half a cup of some heavy cream. We're just gonna give this a good mix, get it all nice and coated, and then it just takes a, a couple minutes just to let the heavy cream get nice and thickened. Okay, so it took about five minutes for my heavy cream to thicken, and I just stirred it up a little bit. You could add some cream cheese if you'd like to, but I like to just go in straight with the heavy cream, and then we'll add some cheese here in a bit on top. But once your heavy cream is nice and thickened, let's go ahead and bring over our spaghetti squash. All right guys, so now you're gonna take your spaghetti squash. Like I said, I'm just making half for me. You guys, usually I cut this serving in half. I don't eat the whole thing. And we're gonna go ahead and stuff it. So make as much as you want for you and your family. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take two forks and you're just gonna go ahead and string apart your spaghetti squash. It should easily come apart. I go ahead and make sure I get all the edges. Be careful, we do need the spaghetti squash boat, so don't destroy it. Okay, give everything a good little toss. Now, what you wanna do, just to make it easier, what I like to do is take my chicken that we went ahead and cooked, and then I'll go ahead and add the spaghetti squash to it. You could just put the chicken on top, but I kinda like everything evenly, like, amount all around. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to this. Okay, once you have your spaghetti squash with your chicken, you're just gonna give everything a good toss and go ahead and get it nice and coated into the cream. It's very simple, you guys. Okay, once you have that, then you're just gonna bring back over your empty spaghetti squash and we're gonna go ahead and toss it in there. I mean, you could just eat this in a bowl, but it just looks so much prettier in the spaghetti squash and then we're gonna bake it with some cheese. Oh my God, you guys, look at that. That. I went ahead and stuffed it. Now you're gonna go in with any kind of shredded cheese you like. I like to just go in with some Monterey Jack cheese. And we're just gonna go ahead and put it right on top. Just like that. Now let's go ahead and pop this in the oven to get all nice and melty. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm just popping it in so everything is nice and bubbly and your cheese is melted so it'll take a few minutes. All right, you guys, my chicken fajita spaghetti squash is done. Cheese is nice and melted, it's heated through. Now all there's left to do is dig in, so I'm gonna go ahead and let it cool down. But doesn't this look amazing, you guys? I absolutely love to stuff spaghetti squashes. You could even do this like a spaghetti type. I have like a super old video, like using red sauce, ground beef, some mozzarella, make it spaghetti, and it's absolutely delicious. So I really hope y'all enjoy this one. All right, you guys, I am ready to dig in. That looks so good. Look at all that cheese, spaghetti squash. It's nicely seasoned, you guys. You got your bell peppers and chicken. I promise you, this is probably one of my 
favorite things to eat i used to make this all the time it is absolutely delicious y'all definitely got to give it a try if y'all haven't already all right let's go ahead and dig in <laughs> mm. you guys this always hits a spot i could probably eat this whole thing by myself I hope y'all enjoyed this dinner recipe, you guys. Definitely make it for you and your family. It's absolutely delicious. Everybody will enjoy it. And if you do happen to make it, don't forget to follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Post some pictures there. Tag me. I would love to see y'all enjoying it. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome keto recipes. And I'll see y'all in my next one. I'm going to go ahead and sit down and enjoy this delicious spaghetti squash.